CEO and President of the Homeless Solution in Morris County. Uh, as we heard from uh, Dr. Weinstein before, we need long-term solutions. That they have working on those in Morris County. For how many years, two of you together, see what you can do there. Uh, we want to have a brief presentation. Um, uh, Dan wants to make some comments. We have two speakers from Homeless Solutions who are going to speak. Uh, Tom Dalton is representing uh, Congressman Freeland Heisen. I'm expecting him to come down in a minute, so we need to get him in the photograph. But again, if you are in the 11th district, this is the time we've been certainly behind you because this is a great photograph to be in. Dan? 11th, you can come on up. Good afternoon, everybody. Greetings from the 11th district. Uh, Morris County makes up the bulk of the district, so with apologies to uh, my hometown of Montclair and towns west and north of there, I'm going to draw a little bit on some Morris County information as part of my remarks. Uh, Morris County is one of the most affluent counties in the nation, but I will remind our congressman that this does not disguise a large and in fact growing number of disabled, senior, and working families who are struggling. Uh, they are barely making ends meet, and I think we in the room know that that's a very tidy term, barely making ends meet, is really, will I pay rent this month, or will I have enough food for my family? Will I be able to buy medicine for my kid, or pay the utility bills? Uh, some households can't, can't keep pace, and they fall into homelessness. Uh, in a recent one year, period in the county, uh, 652 households sought homeless assistance for the first time. Now think about that. In one of the wealthiest nations, in uh, one of the wealthiest counties in the nation, almost two households a day suffered the crisis of homelessness. It's staggering to me. Good news in Morris County is uh, in this year's point of time count, we did see a decrease in homeless households at 9.1%. And that was really exciting to us in Morris County. Uh, I truly believe that the county can achieve a functional end to homelessness in the coming years, but only that, that goal will only be possible if we continue to fund these essential federal housing programs. Uh, you can have the best shelter, you can have the best home services, but if folks who do the work and work to become self-sufficient, can't find an affordable home to move into, they've got nothing. They're stuck. <laughs> too often they are stuck because as we've already heard several times today, across the whole state there is a housing affordability crisis in New Jersey. 42% of renters in Morris County spend more of their income than is considered affordable on their rent. That's almost 19,000 families in Morris County, Congressman. Right? We need more investment in housing that people can afford, not less. So to both of the congressmen representing Morris County, say with me, I implore you, no housing cuts. Yes. All right? The local nonprofits like ours work magic, and, and dozens of nonprofits in the room work magic with home funds, leveraging them five and six times over to produce affordable housing. Those funds have been slashed already by 50% over the last several years. We can't go, we can't go any lower. And please, I don't ever want to hear again, well, you'll just do more with less. I'll slap you across the side of the head if I hear that, all right? There is only less with less when it comes to building more housing, so please. CDBG funds are great for producing affordable housing, but also critical supports like uh, subsidizing childcare for homeless families so the parents can keep or get the jobs they need to become self-sufficient. Uh, uh, the congressman referenced the Low Income Housing Tax Credit, which has been such a great tool for all of our districts and in Morris County and for Homeless Solutions, we have two, two wonderful developments produced by those. It needs to be kept strong as part of any discussions of tax reforms that might be coming up in the, in the coming year. Um, let me be clear, the federal funding for housing programs is not a cost. It's not an expense. 
It's an investment, right? Woo! We've heard that already. It's an investment. It's cheaper to keep people housed safely and securely than to let them slip into an emergency housing situation or become homeless, right? And right now, across New Jersey and in Morris County, uh, in dozens of towns in Morris County, across the state, hundreds are settling with the courts on housing obligations That's to right. produce thousands and thousands of affordable housing units in the next seven or eight years, all right? Federal investment to help our communities produce some of those housing units is a great way for Washington to send some money back to New Jersey and build our communities. It's economic development. You'd be putting hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of construction workers in Morris County alone back to work. But the biggest way that these federal housing programs are an investment is that affordable housing opportunities absolutely change lives. Am I right? Woo! Having quality options for housing that a person or family can afford is the foundation for success and makes our community stronger. And I'm pleased to introduce two speakers here today that exemplify the extraordinary return on that investment that federal housing programs can have. I'm pleased to introduce you to Jillian and Daryl. Josh, I feel your pain. My name is 
Daryl Boone. I'm a resident of Morristown, New Jersey. I was born and raised in Princeton, New Jersey. I was educated at Rutgers University where I earned a bachelor's uh, in political science. Subsequent to that, I went to Howard University School of Law and earned my Juris Doctor. At that time, you couldn't tell me that success wasn't in front of me. But I had one demon, and that was substance abuse. Now, I was able to interview for any job in the market, and I was able to procure it. But the problem was maintaining it. I hit rock bottom back in 2005. I had an epiphany. I called my uncle, who was like a father to me, and said, Uncle John, I need help. After 20-something years of doing cocaine, I need help. Because I was, the Lord was able to put me at my feet and, I allow, and allowed me to see myself in a fetal position. And it scared the Hades out of me. Came to Morristown that August. It'll be 13 years this August, as a matter of fact. I enrolled. faith-based program. I tried other programs intermittently, but it was just to clean up my act for a moment, give my family hope, but I really knew that I was going to keep on messing with, those, with that cocaine. But this was the one time in my life I was serious as all hell. So I completed the program, got out, obtained a job. And during this period, I contacted Homeless Solutions after a number of years at this particular job. I started saving my money, started budgeting. I learned how to become a productive member of society once again. I only had one goal, and I could become more self-sufficient and have an apartment of my own and be able to help other people along the way. So today, I'm an occupier of a beautiful apartment, which if it was in, on the market in Manhattan, it would cost $4,000 a month. Is that big? Gainfully employed, as I indicated. And I'm in the position to consider purchasing a house now. Oh. This is what affordable housing has allowed me to do. Okay? And I would like to see it provide others with the same opportunity. <laughs> other people, as in Jillian's case, may have been in an abusive relationship, found themselves all of a sudden without another income or the other people like me, a substance abuser who is now clean after 13 years. Okay. As a former substance abuser, I didn't live life to the fullest. I deprived myself of the opportunity because I was a hedonist, self-centered, and I took life for granted because I knew that I could always get what I wanted. Drugs and allowing this to, to prosper. But because of Homeless Solutions and other programs throughout this state, I'm a viable member of society. And I want to see others have that same opportunity that I have. I would like to impress upon the congressional members that securing funding to expand affordable housing in New Jersey would, in fact, enhance, and I'm saying this underscore the word, enhance those congressmen's legacy that votes for this. I remember meeting Congressman Freeling Heisen 20 years ago when I was going to one of my rehab stints at Freedom House. I saw he had a passion for eradicating substance abuse, and it was rather obvious to me. I pray that that same passion comes through to maintain affordable housing in Morris County. Thank you very much.